Hello everyone, I'm Mizzen Sorry, and today we're looking at the TZ Audio Scam. They contacted me at 6.15 a.m. this morning. I've done some digging and um, just through their website, through the links they provided. Um, there's been some data that's already been stolen from me um, just by clicking their links. So we're going to go through it and uh, bring to fruition their diabolical ways or whatever. So offline amazing, we were wondering if you might be interested in the talent moment project. They got my email from my YouTube channel. So they said, dear offline amazing, I hope this message finds you well. My name is Jaden McFarlane. We are one of the dealers of TZ LLC based in California, USA. Please take a look at our website. Um, we'll look at this joke later. We are also fans of your video. We are all we are also fans of your videos for a while. We are reaching out to explore a potential relationship with you. We offer a professional microphone. Other costs are not caught are not covered. So free microphone, but there's other costs that won't be covered. So like shipping. In response to that, it would be preferable if you could showcase something interesting in a video using this item. You can find more information about our successful collaborators and inquire about their experiences with this activity at the collaborator page. If you happen to need a premium audio mic for your recording, which I don't, it would be a win-win situation, right? If you're interested and want to know more information about it before making a decision, please let us know. We got your email from your YouTube channel warmly, JD McFarlane, and they show one of their uh, microphones. Then the resourcing department to confirm legis legitimacy, contact our own email, which seems strange. And again, they put their website and TikTok again, uh, and also a weird fucking cat. I don't, I don't know what that's about. And then I just emailed them back saying I'm not interested. Um, but let's go over their website and all of their scammy shit. So first of all, you click on their uh, website and you're taken to a Google form. So you got a weird ass beach background that has nothing to do with audio or microphones. Um, they talk about some weird shit about their talent has the power to transport through time, connecting us with fondest memories and unlocking world of emotion. Our mission is craft unforgettable audio experiences that resonate with your soul and accompany you on your journey through life. Seems like a cult thing there. And then they also have their three microphones, which they have on Amazon. So the first one, $200. Second one, $300 third one, $400. So seems kind of, I mean, they look the same, just have more bits. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, information transparency. Uh, we understand there may be misunderstandings surrounding our intentions. However, the reality is that our genuine dedication lies in assisting aspiring artists and fostering a trustworthy environment. To uphold transparency, we put a lit, Put together a list of individuals with whom we face challenges during our collaboration. Um, and actually, we can go over that as well. So, un unwelcome labels. Uh, people, people who like to profit without effort and not respecting art. People who carry a wounded mentality, believing that the whole world owes them something. Those without independent critical thinking skills who enjoy conspiracy th theories. Individuals who enjoy being clever but lack a sense of commitment. We're a global quest for artists, and those described above do not fit the definition of artists. Associating with such individuals would diminish the value of the artists who have already partnered with us, hence we kindly request them to depart. Only those with pure and steadfast beliefs are welcome. Why the fuck would you put that on your business website? Why are you downgrading people who aren't going to follow your products? You reach out to people... And if they find out that you're a scam, they're obviously going to talk about it. And so they're like, oh, we, no, we're not that. It's like, yes, you are. There's clear evidence that you are. So anyways, this talent moment thing that they're talking about, the specified video um, that you create with their product garners 100 comments on YouTube only. From distinct individuals, we'll allocate $1,000 for the video promotion accompanied by a $500 bonus for you. 
We are honored to feature YouTubers or TikTokers with whom we have successfully collaborated, and they put some. I haven't looked too much into that. Um, and then there's the claim products, and then we also have some people on YouTube. Um, so let's look at their scammer thing, because this is obviously what we're talking about. We respect everyone and enjoy their unique perspectives of the world as showcased through their videos. Some people have speculation about whether we are scammers, but in reality, it's quite the opposite. <laughs> Why was I worried? Why was anyone worried? Due to the scammers we encountered, we have lost a significant amount of time and money, and most importantly, we have lost trust. The individuals on these lists are those who, after gaining trust and reaping benefits, fail to fulfill their responsibilities, such as the video and all that stuff. In traditional terms, they could be described as scammers. Prior to collaborating, we are open to discussing each individual's situation and working together to find suitable solutions. We recognize that producing an exceptional video can take months, and we're prepared to wait up to a year if necessary. We firmly believe that keeping promises is a fundamental principle of human society, and failing to do so must come with consequences. This is the essence, essence of our great American spirit. Ha! Huh. Who, what, American spirit, like, I don't think being honest or keeping the promises is part of the American spirit. If you haven't noticed, the American spirit's kind of shit. Every time we add a name to the list, we experience disbelief, confusion, disappointment, and frustration. We may one, even wonder if something has happened to them or if their email has been compromised. In fact, we hope they bring this matter to the court and let the court bring justice. <laughs> Who cares? If they're being scammed, they're gonna make fun of you. That's it. <laughs> Our goal is to promote world peace and bring together talented individuals contri to contribute to this community for honor. World peace? The world ain't very peaceful right now. Really? You ain't doing so well on that part. These individuals on the list are people we will never collaborate with again, that's for sure. I'm, hope I'm hoping I become one of them. However, the reason for publicly disclosing them is that when people who trusted the attackers, rumors come to question us. It takes a significant amount of time for us to explain. Maintaining this information transparency can save us a lot of time. To be honest, we don't want to have too much interaction with these people. Additionally, to protect their privacy, we'll keep the list hidden. If a sufficient number of requests for disclosure are made, we will also respect their opinions and make all the lists public again. Okay. <laughs> So they have personal information that they'd be willing to share to people. So here's the claim products, which is the scamming part of it, and you'll figure that out. So the video expectations, not that, you know, important for this. It just showcases, you know, you, your emotion, not really doing another unboxing type of thing. All languages are welcome. Beware of copyright. Um... The video should be recorded using the device. It should be five minutes um, and all that. And then updating the item is where the scam is shown. They just they throw it out there and it's plain to see. So the whole point of this email is just like the friendly cop scam. They will contact you. Being like, hey, do you want to do a review of our product? You know, we'll give it to you for free and you do all of that. So th that that's what that's what brand like ads are. You receive the product. You get paid for doing the review. And then the company gets money because other people are going and buying the products. That's how it works. But like Friendly Cup, and now with TZ Audios, they're saying, we'll offer you a professional microphone. Obviously, shipping will be of your own. But here, they say, we've chosen Amazon as our agent of their outstanding delivery and after sales. Please verify that the product is in your region in order from the authorized dealer. To obtain the product, order it directly from Amazon. So spend the money that Amazon says and then provide it with the order ID and PayPal or wire transfer information to receive your reimbursement. 
So not only are you spending $200, right? Two to $500 on Amazon to buy the product, which already they said they were going to offer a professional microphone. They then say, get your bank info. So they want all of your account information, all of your wiring information, which no, <laughs> no, um, that's immediately red flag. That's all three red flags. Um, after the order ID, you'll receive half of the amount of the product. And then the second will be provided after the videos are completed. So you don't even get, you don't even get that. And it says Amazon vendor fulfillment, distributor fees, PayPal fees, taxes, and shipping are not covered. So you're not even getting that. So if the item price is, you know, 349, it would still be $245 that you would be paying. They're, they're simply scamming you because they're not offering a professional microphone. They're offering for you to buy it. We work with individuals in nearly every time zone around the world, so allow up to two business days after the Amazon payment is complete for the first half of the reimbursement to be processed. In some cases, it will take longer. Yeah, never. You're never getting a reimbursement. Never. <laughs> As the end of the year approaches, our team is extremely busy with various tasks. If you cannot tolerate a potential waiting period of up to five business days for refunds, please refrain from making a purchase and do not initiate this process. On the hand, other hand, if you feel that we may have forgotten something, Please be sure to remind us. We would greatly appreciate a reminder. Yeah. If you don't want to buy it, don't fucking buy it. Because guess what? They're offering you to do a review. You should be getting the item for free. That's it. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's supposed to be free. It's not. It's $245 if you get the more expensive one. <sighs> Mutual Trusts. We were initially very open, but as we encountered more scammers and conspiracy theorists, people who are actually intelligent, uh, we realized that we must take necessary steps to uphold the core values of our community. Hence the processes and solutions you see here. If you disagree, please share your constructive suggestions with us, which I am doing. Don't be fucking scammers. And if you reach out to somebody, get the item for free. Otherwise, you are welcome to leave. Again, why would you put that in a business website even though this is a google form do not start the procedure if your brain is full of fucking scamming shit i have no words i i have no words you're a business model and you have that shit on your form what is wrong with you guys seriously do, do you need help I don't live in California, but do you need help? We hope to find the real artist, not a loser. Identify yourself. If you're a loser, go away. If you're an artist, be confident as you should be. I'm an artist. I'm an artist of revealing that you have fucking bullshit. <laughs> you order from Amazon, pay Amazon, receive the item from Amazon, and can return it to Amazon without any reason. All operations are done on a third-party platform and we're not involved, nor do we get any of your private information. That's a fucking lie. That's a fucking lie. You're getting all my private information for just going on my web for going on this website. I don't know who the hell this is. A German guitarist. Offer a solution. We can send you a send up to 50 to you in advance, and you will start the process within 24 hours. Send us your PayPal account if you prefer this method. That'd be nice. We're honored to feature YouTubers, talk, TikTokers who have collaborated. Once reimbursement has been has been sent, you are expected to complete the procedure. You can withdraw at any time by clicking the refund button on PayPal or sending back the full amount via bank transfer. We hope to work with honor, honorable individuals. So far, we have encountered these scammers. This item does not include any XLR cable or interface, so you have to buy it yourself. In case you're not acquainted with professional microphones, you can refer to the tutorial for further guidance. 
we have stock in all those different countries in Amazon warehouses. Um, you are permitted to use it in a giveaway with the same video for a fortune, fortunate viewer who likes subscribers and comments on the view to assist them in pursuing voice work. However, please ensure that the receipt truly values its worth. We appreciate Andy Nelson's suggestions. So again, there were some words here that's like, wow, you actually put that in your business form. Um, so that's interesting. Terms of use. Unless otherwise noted on an individual document, we grant permission to copy and distribute non-image files, documents, and information for non-commercial use, provided they are copied and distributed without alteration. Okay. Privacy policy. This is the scary part. <laughs> the one that I knew. Um, so revised of May 24, 2022. TZ Audios is striving to provide a secure, efficient, and friendly digital experience. This privacy statement addresses the collection, use, disclosure, and security of information that may be obtained when you visit the websites that have this privacy statement in the footer. So, information in stored automatically, like right when you click the link. When you visit our website to browse, read pages, submit forms, or download information, we automatically collect and store the following information. Internet domain and IP address from which you access our portal. The date and time you access our site, the pages you visit. If you link the website from another website, the address of that website. IP addresses, which are numbers automatically assigned to a computer when using the internet. So now they have my internet IP. The type of browser and operating system used to access the site. The, the search terms used to get to the website, in addition to search terms used in the site search engine. The dates and times users access the site. The type of device used to access the site. How often users visit the site, the pages users visit within the site, the links made to other websites through the site. TZ Audios uses this information to help make the site more useful to visitors, to learn about the number of visitors to the site and the types of technology vis visitors use. We use Google Analytics measurement software to collect the information listed above. The data is automatically sent to Google systems and the system immediately aggregates the data. Neither us nor Google ha ever have access to the specifics of your particular site visits. The staff can only see the aggregate data from all users for a particular time period. We gather this information to prove our website and has chosen to sh not share the aggregate data with Google. We may use the aggregate data to share with our partners and contractors to help improve visitor experiences. The state will collect no personal information about you other than statistical information that can be used to make this site more effective unless you choose to provide that information to us. Except for authorized law enforcement investigations or as otherwise required by law, we do not share any information we receive with anyone else. You guys, gonna, I made this fucking shorter. Website security. For website security purposes and to ensure that this service remains available to all users, this computer system employs software programs to monitor network traffic to identify unauthorized attempts to upload or change information or otherwise cause damage. Use of the site constitutes consent to such monitoring, unauthorized attempts to upload information and or change information on this website are strictly prohibited and subject to legal, legal action to include the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act of 1986. Okay, so it's an actual act. That's good. Information you send us, including email. If you send us personal information via email or by filing out a form on the website, we may use that information in responding to your request. Send only the information that is necessary for us to answer your question or process your request. We may forward your email to the government employee who can best answer your questions. We do not disclose, give, sell, or transfer any personal information about our visitors unless required for law enforcement or statute. Uh-huh. A persistent cookie is generally defined as a piece of data that is stored on the user's hard drive. We do not use persistent cookies on our website and our web applications. Is my... Eh, no blockers. Okay. Temporary or session cookies are used on all TS audio website pages. These cookies are stored in memory and are only available during an active browser session. Session cookies are also used by some of the applications deployed on our website to temporarily save information entered by a user as long as the user's browser is open. These cookies do not collect personal information on users and they're erased as soon as you close your web browser. No personally identifiable information about you is maintained 
As a result of a temporary recession cookie, you can f configure your web browser to accept or decline cookies or to alert you when cookies are in use. You do not have to accept cookies from us, but if you choose not to, some of the functions on our site may not be available to you. Interaction with children online. The state is committed to the protection of children's online privacy. The Ch Children's Online Privacy Protection Act governs information gathered online from or about children under the age of 13, verifiable Consent from a child's parent or guardian is required before collecting, using, or disclosing personal information from a child under age 13. If state agency website intends to collect information from children under 13 years old, copy required information and instructions will be provided by the specific web page that collects information about the child. The web page will specifically will specify exactly what the information will be used for, who will see it, and how long it will be kept. Links to other sites and social media. Our sites provide links to other websites. The privacy policies described here do not necessarily apply to any external sites. Read the privacy policies of other sites you visit. Be informed you are the person best qualified to protect your own privacy. Where we manage a presence on social media sites to share government information and engage with our audience, we do not collect any personal, personally identifiable information through those sites. We do not use personal information made available by third-party sites. You submit a question or comment to us via social media tool or platform. We may reply directly to you via that platform, but we do not track or record any information about individuals who use or interact with us via those platforms. Yeah, that's a fucking lie. Disclaimer, all information provided in this website is believed to be accurate and liable. However, we have... We assume no responsibility for the use of this information. Please, do, please note that the other agency websites that do not have this privacy statement in the footer may contain additional or different privacy statements. So that's the gist of it. That's that's where the, the, the lies are. I mean, between actually getting the product and the privacy policy, right when you click on their website, you get tracked. They don't offer anything. They just say, hey, you should buy our shit and then we'll totally reimburse you for it once you do it. Again, like the Friendly Cup scam, this is not this is not a business offer. This is simply just a phishing scam. They, they, they just want you to buy something and then promise to reimburse you. They also don't have a location for their department it's like, great, you're in California. Where? You don't have a warehouse to look up? You don't have like a public location? The pub the Friendly Cup did. It was a neighborhood. Um, so this was just a link that I found on the that form. This is an actual fucking website. I don't know why they just bring you to this one. Like... They should probably take you to this website instead of the form that has swearing and all of that. Because that is unprofessional. This looks pretty fucking professional. And then they made some jokes about Table P and Sound on Sound. I don't even think those are actual websites. Or... Like, I don't... Just seems weird. I mean, I don't know. They have magazines, but I've never seen them, so. They just say they're in Fontana, California. They don't say where, they don't say an address, no emailing. Just say Fontana, California. So this is an actual good, this is a good website. Like no swearing at all, no cult sounding descriptions. I mean, this is some good stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, no, these are dealers. These aren't. Yeah.
Well, I have a phone number. Oh, wait, there's a refund policy. Let's make sure they're actually in California, because that'd be fucking funny. Okay. Comes up as California. We accept returns received here within 20 days of the delivery date. Refunds will be sent with five business days. It may take your bank another three to seven. Assuming you return mic in complete and like new condition and includes all accessories and paperwork that came with the microphone, we will refund the full purchase price paid minus the cost of the shipping back to us. Any mic showing signs of use or abuse will be assessed as a repair fee. And then you can make a repair fee. So, yeah, that's everything. I'd say that's a scam. They, you know, reaching out to people being like, hey, we offer you a professional microphone, obviously shipping. If you could pay that, that'd be great. But all of these companies and stuff, like Friendly Cup and things like that, where they're like, hey, you know, buy a product and we'll refund you. It's like, no. No, I don't think so. Usually if you're doing a brand thing, I feel like they would give you a code and be like, hey, here's this code and put it in the shop and I'll do it for free. I think the Friendly Cup actually did that, but error scam. So another scam, I want to I wanna thank... Um, Jaden, for emailing me, because otherwise I wouldn't have learned about it. I wouldn't have known about it. I think I've seen these microphones on Amazon too. Um, but yeah, they're definitely not a real business. And they're definitely scamming some people, especially people who are easy to trust. And also Offline Amazing, does have a high audience, I will say that. Not a lot of followers, a lot of people who watch. I will not scam my audience. I just won't do it. I may promise something and then be like, hey, you know, I can't do that promise anymore. But I will not be like, hey, give me your fucking money. All right, I'm out. Because that was like the channel giveaway. It's like, I promised to do the channel giveaway, but now my financials are fucked. I couldn't see that coming. But it's not like I'm going to, I'm not going to do like a donation or fundraiser to, you know, do something for the community and then be like, oh no, I need that money. It's like, if you write in your email that you're going to offer a professional microphone, but have shipping be, you know, the only thing, fine. That makes sense. But don't link your Google form that tells people you have to pay the full price and then get reimbursed afterwards. Who is going to spend money on your product if they don't need it? I have a great microphone. I don't know why you reached out to me. I'm not an artist. I'm a gamer. So I want to thank you for including me in the many, many videos and comments and stuff of you guys being a scam. But I'm not taking you up on this deal. Anyways, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next one.